On this episode, I'll be showing you my detail settings for using the slip angle base shaker system. And what you're looking at is an overall view of my setup right now. And I'm just gonna zoom in for one second here. So for you at home to understand the sound, how it's being sent through, I've got coins situated on each base shaker. I'm in Canada, so that's a loony sitting up there and you'll be able to hear the vibration because I don't know another way to have you feel the vibration. So by putting that coin on top of the base shaker, you can hear the rattling and that'll tell you every time that the sound is being transmitted to a vibration and being sent through. All right, as we move over here, that is the amplifier and sound card. And so the blue wires go from the bass shaker on the four corners. It goes through the amplifier, through the sound card, and over here, right there, into my PC. Um, I've got six ports, but only one of them works with my sound card. That's another corner. So you can see that's my right rear. That's my left front, right front. And the other corner is in the back there. All right, here is my amplifier set up from the front. I've got these knobs pretty much turned to the middle, maybe just a little past that. I've got this switch over here. It's in the auxiliary position. That's really important. Not down. That doesn't work. The top doesn't work. That middle. That's where you want to hear the sound. And I don't know if you can hear the sound right now. The F1 theme. Okay. You notice when it's down in the power position, it doesn't work. So if you don't have this in the right position, it's not going to work. If you have it all the way up there, it's not going to work. But you can hear it there. Right. Okay. Now that's where I have my cables running into my sound card. That's what it looks like. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the back of my amp. Okay, here is the back of my amp. Now, I get eight channels. That's what shows up on the screen in Sim Hub for me. Then this is my setup. I've got channel one coming out of this one with channel two. Okay, and this is the port that it's going into this port right here all right now channel three and channel four okay they come out of this one and they go into this port right here okay that's what's working for me in f123 with slip angle channel four three two one okay continuing along what i've also done is i've labeled these lines here, this one, uh, okay, if I look under here, I don't know if you can see that, let me get this light, sorry for shaking that, okay, I'm hoping this comes through, I'm going to try to make this show up, okay, so hopefully you can see those numbers there. Going from right to left, channel four, three, two, one. Just like in the front. So this channel four, okay, I've labeled it for me, rear right. This one over here, channel three, rear left. Uh, channel two is labeled as front left. And channel one is labeled as front right. I'm gonna be honest with you, label them however you get it to work. I'm just saying label them because it gets confusing after you spend a couple of hours like I have to get this all to work. Okay, I'm gonna switch the views here. 
and I'm going to be showing you the on screen what's happening. Try to go over some spots where you can get a good feel. Already I think you can hear that and see that. Rumble strips again. Okay, rumble strips. Grass, let's go over grass. Hear that, grass. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. Grass. So remember, this is all vibration, so I'm feeling this throughout my whole body here. Can you hear that shifting? The other cool thing about this is this is great feedback to tell me when I'm not hitting my apexes, not using enough of the track, because you can feel it now, right? Not just see it or imagine it. And even though the DD, of course, and all these newer steering wheels, you can feel the, the movement, feel the effects of the road. But the transducers take it one step further. Grass again. Great. See that coin shaking? Let's go over the grass here. Let's uh, go over some gravel. What gravel feels like. And then you get on the road, nothing. Grass. Road. Grass. Rumble strip. Let's go to gravel. Now, in this game, when I hit the Barrier, here, barrier there, I didn't really feel that because I don't have um, uh, crashes turned on at this because obviously it's not part of you know my plan for this game not to try to hit those barriers but in WRC Generations, yes. So we go through all this gravel, you can hear it, you can hear it from both sides, you can hear even my uh, keyboard tray. Rumble strips, let's get to this side. I think, so I think what I did is I have um, maybe different um, values for left and right. It's pretty strong on the right side for vibration. Let's uh, get something on the left side here. Let's see what we can do. So that's the left side. Oops. Feel a bit on the left. Let's get only left. Left. And there's the left only. And there's right only. So right, obviously way more. Okay. So let's get out of this and I'll get into the settings now. Okay, let's get into making SimHub work and I'll show you how I have my, I'll show you how I have my settings configured and I'll show you how you can um, change certain things to get this working for you. Okay, so this is what the screen looks like. I've changed the uh, colors here and you can change the colors. You, I think you have like, I don't know, 
20 different options, but that's not really um, what we're going to get into right now. Okay, so I was playing F123. Um, okay, so the most important part here is, see where it says on the side here, you've got your options, games, car settings, devices, stats, um, Dash Studio, Adreno, Shake It, Wind, so if you have a wind shaker, um, Bass Shakers, Shake It Motors, Control Mapper, Controllers, and Thrust Master, and your settings, oh, and available properties. For me, the most important part is right here where it says Shake It Bass Shakers, so you click that. And this is where you are going to play with your effects. So I have these effects configured. Uh, road rumble, gear shift, road impacts, RPMs. I don't even know if that's RPMs or RPMs. I don't get it. And wheel slip. Um, just trying this out. So I know they say use three things to start, which I did. I have, uh, what was it, five configured. So if you want to add an effect, you add the effect. This, so these are my effects. Okay, so when you, cl when you click this right here, you can get into basically the nitty gritty of how these effects work and how much effect there is. You can slide this to increase the effect or decrease the effect. So this is maximum and I have roll rumble. So you should be able to hear this right now. Hear that shaking everything, even my key, even my keyboard tray. Okay. So you can turn that down to very little. And you, you probably can't hear that, but you see these waves right here. That's showing you that it's working. The front right, I show it to you, showing you how it's working also, and same for the rear left, rear right. You can't hear them because it's 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 very low. So if I want to turn it up, yeah, there it is, right? Um, okay, so I forget what I had that at. Maybe right there. right okay now so you click that oh sorry before we we get out of that okay so you see i have that set to 11 hertz from 11 hertz to 26 hertz and that's on the lower end of the spectrum and so where you can change that is right here you can put that make that more make that less and on the higher end make that more, make that less. So I think I had 11 to 26. Now this is important and it does say, so I believe there's the YouTube video from Slip Angle. Um, the, I wish that video was more in depth for what this is, because it's really important. And they say you want to separate your frequencies, which is true. Um, just let me get out of here for a second and show you something. So I've got my road rumble at 11 to 26. I've got my gear shift at 40. I've got my road impacts at 27 to 34 because starts at 27 because my road rumble ends at 26. So 27 to 34, so not a very wide range. Uh, 40 and 40. Okay, so I'm, I'm still playing around with this. That's why it's at 40 right now. And I'll show you about that later. And also it says 50 to 61. So this is just a work in progress. And my wheel slip is at 81 to 92. So that's that's very high on my scale here. So now when we go back into here, this road rumble, when I click that, okay. And I'm on corners, you have options, whether you want it to go left, right, front, rear, mono, which I don't know why you'd want to do that. But so I have everything for my corners. Um, this max rumble speed. I haven't quite figured that out, but that's not important. So just leave it as standard. 
what is important is how this sound comes out to you through the vibration and so it affects the effect okay so it's on output right now and you can hear that i believe uh, let me just turn it up so you can surely hear it okay now listen to when i put it on input You hear that it's very low so every time you change it to whether it's input or output it affects that vibration it affects how that's translated so i put it back to output okay so that's very important so in your settings you want to play around with these and and um it allows you to dial in the effects exactly how you want it okay Let's go to a different one, the gear shift. So the gear shift, it's like a clunk. Hear that? Okay, so that's that. And you can see by these waves here, how that works. And again, if I turn it down, see how it's blinking here, but it's also showing up here that lets you know that it is working. All right, I turn that back up a little bit. All right. And you know, now I, I do remember that yes, in, in, in a real Formula One car, you can hear when the gear shift, but it doesn't sound just like how the, I had this sounding right here. Um, so again, I'll play around with it. Road impacts. Okay, so it's, pr it's pretty pronounced, right? Okay, and watch when I change it. It's on input. Watch when I change it to output, how it is. Very different. So I don't want my road impacts like that. If I go over anything on the road, it doesn't feel like that. It's more this way. Right. Okay. Let us go. Okay. This RPMs. If I crank it up, it's at 18 right now. Pretty violent. Right. And then, you know what? I don't know wherever I feel that in a car. So I'm putting back to uh, 18, 19. Okay. Yeah. All right. So back to here. Again, if you change it to input instead of output. It's a different noise altogether. Now, I haven't talked much about this scale over here but that's very important because that's where you can change how the effect happens so i have it going up like a curve it goes up and then it comes down but you can change that to there bring that down if you want you can have whatever configuration you want so it's all ascending, right? So let's see what that sounds like. See how it just goes up. Let's uh, turn this up a bit more. Yeah, it doesn't sound familiar, doesn't feel familiar to me at all. So let's bring that back to what I had it as. And again, I do not understand this one, to be honest with you. If somebody um, can explain this to me in the comments, that would be great. But it is an effect. I'm just playing around with it. Okay, so that's... See how it drops off? It goes up and then drops off. Right? And I turn it back down to 18. Now is that 19? Okay. Uh, 
another thing I should mention, which I haven't already, when you click this high effect frequency, so I have it checked off, you get to go from, you get to set your boundaries basically from the low end to the high end. When I have it off, I don't, right? So you only get that. So let's see what that sounds like. Is there a difference? Here, no, there isn't. But on this, we're going from 11 to 26. Okay, let's turn that off. See that? You only get the low end. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me let me turn that up even more from 77. Right? And I turn it back on. What do I get? Yeah, okay. So again, more options for you to fine tune your effects where it will slip now. Let's play around with that. I'll just slide that down here. Okay, you hit the gas too hard. Let's see what that sounds like with it. It's on input. Very different. I don't like that. That's why I'm using it on output. And if you notice, I have my um, frequency set from 81 to 92. That's on the higher end. So that's why it's more like a more like a buzz than anything. Okay. Now, very, very important here. So if you, up here in the top left, you saw where you have effects profile, so that's where you add your effects. Um, and if I want to take off one of these effects, so I don't want them in the game at this particular time, I can just go like this, and the effect is not there. Okay, simply just click it back. If I want to add an effect, I just pick one of these. Uh, okay, so jump landing, let's add that. So we have here, so jump landing. Looks like it's not part of this game because it's Formula One, they don't jump. If I do the test for it, um, that's what it would sound like. So for WRC generations, yes, we're jumping, right? Okay, now if I want to take it off if you, you just put your cursor over here and you can well you can either just click it off so it's temporarily gone click it back and it's back or you can come over here and you have your options where remove effect clone the effect so if you want to copy it copy effect to the clipboard you want to reset the effect setting and assign controls I don't understand the assign controls yet um, so if you want to just get rid of it totally, just click that, and it's gone. Okay, so now this is what I have. These are the features I have. Now, very important, click that, and you go to sound output. Okay, I've got my sound coming through the transducers for from slip angle, the bass shakers. So that's where the sound is coming out. If I do it through here, I will not get anything... For the vibration coming through my rig I'll just get all my sound coming through my TV now I'm playing around with my Sonos uh, surround speakers um, at one point I did have everything dialed where I had both sound coming out of the speakers in the front and the rear and I had the vibration coming through the rig and everything was amazing been playing around with it and so I can't get it back to that those to have both work at the same time yet but it's very important that you make sure if you are not getting this working for you that this might be an area that you have to check so again you have your effects profile here you have your sound output here you need to make sure that you have your speakers okay in your windows setting you need to have this activated right here and now when you click on here 
Remember I showed you on my amp, I had the channels, one, two, three, four, and I said I had eight showing. Eight are showing. I've got channel one and channel two active. Now, if you want to see everything, okay, so remember, I have gear shift engaged, I have road impacts engaged, road rumble, RPMs, and wheel slip. Okay, I'm going to turn wheel slip, I'm going to uncheck these and show you what happens. You remember, I had all this working. I'm just going to shrink that. Hmm. Uh, okay, this is... All right, I need to just move this out of the way so I can show you at the same time here. Okay, so if I go back to the effects profile and I come to wheel slip, so I've got everything off on wheel slip. Notice nothing for front left, front right, rear left, rear right. And when I open wheel slip, okay, and I go to test it, I get I get nothing. Yeah, the the wave is showing up. Okay, it means I'm, it's working in here in the effects itself, but in the output through my amp, because I don't have anything configured, right? Nothing through there. You don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Watch, if I turn on the front left, front left, hear that? Let me just turn it up to make sure it comes through. Okay, watch if I turn on channel 2 on the front left. Right? Okay, so let me just turn that back down. Okay, that's through both of them. Now watch what else I can do. I can turn it off and I can just have it come through the rear right. Both of them. Hear that? And... So I can make it come through front left, front right, rear left, rear right. Okay, see how because I activated these over here and when I test it over here, that's how it all works. So you can do a test through here as well a general this is basically a general test of your channels and let me just open this back up for you now what else you can do is you can show the uh, it's called the gain effect i believe let's make this bigger Okay, uh, so I click this button right here, and you can decrease in here, or you can e increase right here. So my my gear shift. Okay, that's probably not a good one because it's very short. But the road rumble. So road rumble. Let's go over here. So I have it at a hundred percent. For the road rumble, let's go to the road rumble. What does that sound like in here? Now, that's the front left. So let's take it down. And let's come back here. A lot lower, right? Again, lower. So you can crank it all the way up. Now, I've tried to do this faster by just highlighting that and putting it at uh, 100. And there you go. So that's a faster way to do it. If you know exactly what number you want it to get to. 
Okay, so again, you can do your test in here. You know that it's working. And you come back here. And you can have her. This is where you have her, another place to have everything dialed in. So I hope that helps. Really get out and play with uh, your settings. Make sure all your wires are connected, connected properly. Um, do yourself a favor and use labels to trace your wires back to the source. Get out and play with it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Have fun racing today, and we'll see you in the next video.